So in this video, what we're going to be looking at is the outcome from having used the y minus y1 equals mx minus x1 form for finding the equation of a line. But then we need to get it into the required form of ax plus by equals c, where a, b and c are integers. So what process should we go through to do that? So let's take a look at question number one. So we have y minus 2 is equal to 2 lots of x plus 1. Now to get this into the required form, the first thing I would do is multiply out the bracket on the right hand side. So y take away 2 is 2x two plus 2. And now you can rearrange it. So if I subtract 2x from both sides, I want to get the x and y on the left hand side. So minus 2x, keep the y where it is. And that minus 2, I'm going to add 2 to both sides to move it over here. And I'm going to get 2 plus 2, which is 4. And so that is now in the required format, where a is minus 2, b is 1, and c is 4. If you don't like the minus sign being in front of the uh, 2x here, you can multiply through by minus 1 if you like. So that would be 2x take away y equals minus 4. But that would be really 4 aesthetic reasons. Um, there's nothing different between these two formats. They're both the correct answer. Um, 2 minus 1 and minus 4 are all integers. So either of those formats are perfectly fine. Okay? Right, let's take a look at the next one. So y plus 3 is equal to minus 2x take away 5. If we expand out the bracket on the right hand side, y plus 3 is minus 2x, minus 2 times minus 5 is plus 10. And now you want to get the x's on the left hand side, so add 2x to the left hand side, well to both sides. Leave the y where it is, subtract the 3 from both sides, 10 take away 3 is 7. So 2x plus y equals 7 is in the required form. Right, well, let's take a look at number 3. y minus 1 is equal to 1 half x take away 3. Now, you can multiply through the right-hand side bracket first, like we have been doing for the first two examples, and then deal with the fraction. Personally, I like to deal with the fraction straight off the bat. So... To get rid of the fraction, you need to multiply everything by the denominator. So multiply both sides by 2. So if you multiply the left-hand side by 2, we're going to get 2y minus 2. If you multiply this side by 2, it just gets rid of the fraction. And we're going to be left with one lot of x take away 3. So then you could rearrange it into the form you want. So if I subtract x from both sides and keep the 2y where it is, add the 2 to both sides, we're going to get minus 3 plus 2, which is minus 1. And if you don't like the minus signs, you can multiply through by minus 1. x take away 2y is equal to 1. And that's just a different form of the same equation, and which fits the bill. Okay, so let's take a look at number 4. So y plus 8 is equal to minus 1 quarter x plus 2. So again, I would probably deal with the fraction first. Uh, so if I multiply everything through by 4, I'm going to get 4y plus 4 lots of 8 is 32. Now, don't forget, you've still got a minus sign there. Now, you could have multiplied through by minus 4, and that would have got rid of the minus sign at the same time. It's really up to you, but I've still got a minus sign there, so I'm just going to keep that there. I'm thinking, right, I've got minus the whole of that bracket, x plus 2. Now, if you like, you can do this in one step. And think about, well, if I've multiplied through by 4... I've then got minus 1 lots of x plus 2, which would be minus x, 
and then minus 1 times 2 is minus 2 and then I've removed the brackets so you can do it that way if you prefer okay you could do it in one step when you're at that stage you can then add the x to both sides keep the 4y where it is and then subtract the 32 so minus 2 take away 32 is minus 34 okay right okay so that was number four right number five we have y minus one third is equal to three halves x take away one now in this question we've got two fractions we've got the one third and the three halves and they both have different denominators so in order to get rid of both fractions at the same time, you need to multiply through by the lowest common multiple of 3 and 2, which is 6. So you could multiply through by 6 to get rid of both fractions at the same time. Personally, I don't like doing that. Um, and that's really down to, I just want to make sure everything's right at each line of working. So. I would multiply everything through by 2 first to get rid of this fraction. So multiplying through by 2, I'm going to get 2y, take away 2 lots of a third, so 2 thirds. And I'm going to be left with 3 lots of x take away 1. Now, if you're confident enough, you can also think, well, if I've got rid of the 2, I can then multiply this bracket through by the 3. So I'm going to get 3 lots of x and then three lots of minus one. So you can expand the bracket in one step as well, if you prefer. Then I need to get rid of this fraction. So I'll multiply through by three, and I'll get six y take away two is nine x take away nine. Now I can rearrange it into the form I need. So if I subtract nine x from both sides, leave the 6y on the left hand side, add the 2 to both sides, I'm going to get minus 7. And you could either leave it like that or multiply through by minus 1 and have, have it in that form instead. Okay? Right, that's number 5. Right, finally number 6 y minus one quarter is equal to minus two fifths x plus a third now in this example we have three fractions and three different denominators four five and three um, now because the one third is inside this bracket as well um, i don't want to uh, try and get rid of all the fractions all at the same time okay um, so I'm going to do this step by step like I did the previous example I'm going to multiply through by 5 first to get rid of uh, this fraction so multiplying through by 5 I'm going to get 5y take away 5 quarters equals and then I've got minus 2 lots of this now, if you're comfortable about expanding that bracket out now, you can. Minus 2 times x, and then minus 2 times 1 third is minus 2 thirds. So now I'm down to two fractions. I've got quarters and I've got thirds. Does it matter which one you work with next? Not really, okay? If you want to get rid of both of them at the same time, you've got to multiply both sides by the lowest common multiple of 4 and 3, which is going to be 12. Um, so, you could do that. I'm going to do it in stages. I'll multiply through by the 4 first, I think. So, uh, we're going to get 20y take away 5 is equal to minus 8x. Multiplying this by 4, I'm going to get minus 8 thirds. Now I need to get rid of this fraction, so I'm going to multiply through by 3. 
So 60y, take away 15, minus 8 times 3 is minus 24, so minus 24x, and we've got the take away 8. OK, so now rearrange it. Let's get the x's on here. So add 24x to both sides, leave the 60y where it is, and add 15 to both sides. Now, uh, minus 8 plus 15 is 7. And so 24x plus 60y equals 7 is the line I'm looking for.